Hey all, and welcome to Real Ale of Britain. Folks, tonight I've got a beer for you, and it's from the Winds in an Eaton Brewery. Uh, I want to thank Paddy, uh, who uh, called to the house today and dropped a few beers off for me. Cheers, mate. Um, but this beer itself, i seen in Reading uh, at uh, Christmas time, and uh, I went to get a pint, and it was the end of the uh, cask. So I'm really lucky to try this in bottles. So I'm really looking forward to it. It's a 4% beer, and I've heard outstanding uh, reviews about this so let's crack this bad boy open and let's see what it's like so look at that there's a light bit of smokiness coming from the top and straight in with the core so this beer is pouring a nice chestnut brown in colour and it has got good carbonation folks okay look at that Absolutely fantastic. To me, that is my type of beer. Look at that colour. Look at it. Chestnut brown colour, and it's got a, a bit of a red hue tinge to it. Okay? So, let's go straight in with the nose. Well, the first thing you're getting is you're getting um, grapefruit notes. You're getting some caramel... Some toffee. There's some wheat present as well, like dry Weetabix. And then there's this like rustic brown bread, which is a bit stale. Um, but this beer seems to be um, <clears throat> full of um, malts. Okay, let's go straight in with the taste. Cheers, folks. Oh. Oh, yes. Ooh. Completely different. I did not expect this at all. Okay, so the first thing you're getting is you're getting this really nice maltiness. There's wheat present. There's caramel malts, there's some biscuity malts. I wouldn't be surprised if there's some chocolate malts used as well. Uh, there seems to be like a light kind of uh, cocoa-ness. <clears throat> and that's kind of developing into um, light, like milky coffee notes. And then there is this wonderful grapefruitness and it's sitting in the background but what it's doing it's it's interweaving with all these different malts and then starting to develop is this kind of autumn hoppiness and if you can imagine uh, leaves which are starting to go that yellowy green red brownie kind of color and um, when they kind of start to decay there's that kind of a uh, it's kind of smell in the air transform that into flavor and it's in this pint And then there's this earthy spiciness. And the spiciness <clears throat> is a bit like... It's a bit like um, uh, some rocket uh, or some watercress, which has that pepperiness to it. And then what rounds it all off is a light sweetness of maple syrup. And that mixed with the hops and the malts is giving this beer a real wonderful flavour. So folks, what do I think the finish is like? The finish is malty with a wonderful uh, dry bitter hotness. So what do I give Windsor and Eaton Brewery for their Canberra coming out at 4% ABV? Folks, this to me is one of these beers. It is a session beer. You need to get it. You need to try it. You need to review it. This to me is a 9 out of 10. A 9 out of 10. Folks, that's Real Ale of Britain. Doing a review on Windsor and Eaton's Canberra. Coming in at 4% ABV. Cheers. And Slamakara.